Hello friend, thank you so much for clicking this video. I'm Sunday here already from Octodus School of Filmmaking and Craft. In this tutorial, I want to show you how I was able to make this. I will gonna make this from A to Z, step by step making of this work. I want to show you in it so you want to make a project like this and this filming is for you. I'm gonna use this fabric on this and um, artificial leather I will win. We're able to use it and make an awesome base like this. I'm able to make a long and like this also you're gonna see in the scene. Don't forget this is just an off cut. It's just an off cut, a cut off from my focus. I have a focus on how to get this on my platform. There's a link to that in the description. So you want to get the full measurement of this, the detail analysis of each material of this, then you have there's a link to in the description, then just click on that, it's gonna to navigate to where you can get that done. So for right now, let's go and see how I will be making this right now. I will be using this fabric, okay? I will be using this fabric. Whenever you buy your mark fabric, make sure you buy an original that the color will not have to wash off. So this is 2 mm in thickness. Why this is the base that is not so clean, but this is gonna protect the leather from it's not being dirty. So here is the first we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using this crafter knife to do some cutting. And this I might not just use this alone. I'm going to use this tool when it comes to my pattern cutting. Let's use all these tools. This works within the pattern. Use this at that point. And then for this, I have this. I'm going to alternate this with my bench grinder some points. But if you have a drilling tool, drilling tool is going to do the same thing. Your bench grinder is going to be doing four in this project. So this is a German tools. When plug in the power, it's rose. This is what we want to work on. And it has a front flap, flap that drop on it. So right in here, for this, for us to work on this, the actual measurement that we need to work on, mind you this, is the stage one of our project. This is the stage one of it. The, this is it, and we want to give it size. So fully detailed this, the height, in here, the total height of the project, we need to mark it out and we want it to be 8. Yes, that's the total height. And then the breadth of it. Here in there, this project is having two measurements in breadth. The down part of it is a bit bigger than this upper part of it. It's a bit bigger than this. So this is going to come with a measurement Why this itself is going to come with another measurement so right now the base of it is going to be four it's going to be four all measurements in inches four. and the full length is by eight so these are the two parts we're going to be cutting so we'll be able to get it and the front fab looking at the play that was introduced to us this front fab comes down a bit to come by one inch down one inch down so it came by one inch down one inch down one inch down so I'm going to extend it to this point this has already been extended to this point this like this the after it's been extended this is the one inch to the front this is the one inch to this this is this up looking at looking at like that <coughs> right now so we have this at the time we have this we can then come over and This is going to guide me through. This is 
you want to guide me through? So I'm going to do this all around. All around. So right now I've been able to detail this. You can see so if I want to mark this right now, I can easily go mark everything and also details of this line, detail it on my material. So right now, here is the pattern of this project after we've been able to get this out the next thing i'm going to be doing is to then come over and cut the other part of it which is the side the side this this side i need to cut it with it so cutting that pick my welcome here so right now i need to start using all this to cut so I'm going to start with this full frame first and then come in here, come in this way, drop this like this, make sure that it's going to cover. So now come, I've applied gum around this right now, so I then come over to start dropping it on it. Okay, so we have this right now. Right now, can you see this? It's flexible, this point is flexible, we have this. Right now, so right now what I'm gonna do is then, then go to the machine. I'll be using a straight bed machine. I said earlier we will be using that so this is what I'm going to be using to connect this at the time I connect this I then come back and just glued it to the base in here so going to apply it come over and mark it one inch way back one inch down mark it one inch down I'm gonna mark it one inch down. While how the fabric is balanced, this two have to lap. No folding. No leather should be folded. No folding on it, okay? Don't need too much space around this. Cut the uniform piece around this. I wait for this to dry and when it dry I come back to them and get all this together.
good. At the same time, I don't want it to. I want this point to good. I want it to be so soft like this. So it's okay this way. So this is the one way at which I can get to hold it. I can get to do it. This way is holding like this. And the way I can get to do it is to come over here. Right now, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is then see how we will be fixing the inner pockets. I'm going to go now and draft the inner pockets to this. We draft the inner pocket, we stitch it to it. At the time we stitch the inner pocket, we then come back and start fixing the handle. Right in here, it's time for me to work on this. So I come with the leather, and then this was what we cut out for the For the pocket size, so I then pick paint to mark this out. Done with it now. I have it and I zip it down. I have it closed up right in here. So, right, this is the space I said you're gonna have the other time. So, I have the space in there. It's gonna be inner layer, so I have the space right now. So, at the time I have this, the next thing I'm gonna be doing right now is to then clean it up. At the time I clean it up, the next thing I will be doing right now is to then proceed to, to get all the handle sets. Get all the handle sets. The long and the short one, get the sets. Well, I get this side, then I then come back and then eventually start cementing everything together. But first, for now, I need to get the undo set. So stay with me to see how I'll be doing that right now. So right now, we need to cut this out. I come over to mark this. I mark it out this way. So I come in here to start this up, like the gum like this, I step this down, I come over again, and then apply this, okay, I wait for this to dry, at the time it's dry, I then come over to drop it on it. The time we have this right now, I see it's been covered up so you can have this right now. You can see we've been able to get this out right now. So if I have my, the top of my project this way, you can have this. And it's, as you can see, we're getting close to it, having it come down. So we're not done. The next thing we're going to be doing right now is to then come in here and cover this up. We're going to cover this up right now. So, to cover, so I apply gum to this and then come over and drop it. But before I get to drop it, I'll just be, want to make it even. So I'm going to be dropping it an inch of one inch down. Yes, one inch down. 
come over in here too. Have a one inch down. One inch down. So I have this right now. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to then come over, stitch this, stitch this, stitch all this together. And after that, just come over to bound everything together. So at this point, what we're going to be doing here is after we've applied gum to this round, I come over here. This was the part at which we demarcate for the base the other time. So we'll come in here like this. And this is the center. So I'm going to maintain the center. Okay. I get this right here. And I come over. And I want this to be right at the edge of this. Then I put this like this. Check this point out, close up. I have this right now. So I'm going to do that, I come in here again. Then I need to fix this. Cut that. Cut this. Cut that. So right now I've cut this out and at this point I'm set with this, you see? Set with this in here. Ready to go. Like this, the next thing I'm gonna be doing right now is then go to the decks and then come fix my lock to so this. I'm gonna test the lock, fix the lock and then eventually bounce bound everything together. We are coming here, this is a chloroprene gum. I'm going to be targeting here again. There is a board, so chloroprene gum is going to best bound this together. I'm targeting here. And then lock it up. Come over to start getting this on it. I need the hand in. So this is balanced. So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is then come over and come to set this in it this way. So right now we've done putting this together. To put this together. set right now fully set so when we come in here we have this in you know a little pause so this we should then come over and apply this clip to this yeah is it so right now we need to come over and get this on it this is gonna go in there I try to use the matic. Okay, so right now we have this. This is keyed up. This is only key right now. So I have this. So at this point we've been able to get this around fixed like this. When it's fully fixed. So thank you so much, friend. But we're done with this. And then the time we're done, we we'll then come over with the long stripes. Then come over and attach it to this. Then come over and then attach this. So you can come in the long stripes, carry it off this way, and the other way you can then drop it down and have this. Thank you so much for watching to this time. Hope you've learned something from me. That is what I want to achieve. You've been able to grab something, learn something from my upload. Thank you so much. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, kindly subscribe, like, and click on the notification bell. Why? So you can have the notification of when I'm going to be releasing each one after that so you can be alerted and notified. So click the notification bell and don't forget 
this is an offer from a focus each project that you've seen in here have a focus of it on my platform check the description of this video you're gonna see a link in there which is gonna get you to where you can take a focus on this project that i've just shown you i'm oyewara sunday from octosis school of filmmaking and whatever you do never stop